There's been a big shakeup in the remarketing world in the past couple of years. There is still a lot of inventory moving around, but sometimes it's coming from unusual places. It's a challenging time. Our traditional sources of inventory, the fleets that typically turn over the same predictable number of vehicles every year, um, it's, it's, everything's shook up right now because of obviously the supply chain issues. There's a lot of mergers and acquisitions going on, so sources of our inventory are coming from unusual, untraditional places, but there's a lot of inventory still moving around out there. Um, obviously, our biggest challenge is keeping up with those market conditions, what our vehicles worth right now. We're seeing the higher end, more drivable vehicles, frontline ready vehicles, of course, are bringing top dollar. Um, we're starting to see the, um, the lower end vehicles that maybe need some parts replaced. That market seems to be tapering off, so it's, it's really challenging right now for us to know what the market's going to be doing, predicting when is it going to be a hard landing, a soft landing, when the, when the new vehicles do start to arrive. Um, so it's, you know, and then here we are at NAFA right now watching the electric vehicle uh, phenomenon take off. So that's going to be another challenge for us in the next two, three years down the line. We've got a whole new uh, inventory to consider, um, you know, with the life of the, the batteries and electric vehicles themselves.